Well, I'm here on the farm today and uh, thought I'd do a little hay update. Uh, today is January the 9th, 2021, and uh, it's cold, but I uh, had a hay customer come today, and I've had a, a number of hay customers that have come uh, at the end of December and uh, here at the 1st of first of January and you know right off the bat you know I had a pile of hay uh, right in here all the way down and uh, I had clear a spot in here to put a, uh, my Vermeer uh, tether rake still, still haven't got that thing in here but uh, all of this hay's gone and uh, we're starting to dig into some of this these are bottom bales that were uh, out in here and what I'm selling uh, that was over here and and from here down uh, these are these are uh, bottom bales or rejects in some way or another you can see this one right here is all twisted up and uh, and we sell all of this stuff uh, sooner or later uh, this year there's a hay glut so hay's not moving quite as fast as it normally would but uh, nonetheless uh, we've had a fair amount of activity uh, here at the end of December and the 1st of January. Uh, horse quality second cutting is gone. Uh, there's some second cutting right in there. Um, and it's uh, it's not that much. I'm going to climb up on the haystack here in a minute if I can get up there and I'll show you. But uh, from right in here back, I've sold about uh, probably 300 bales of uh, first cutting horse quality first cutting and uh, so we're moving some hay out All right here's a little look from the back side of the barn and uh, my John Deere 5055D and my 348 baler there but uh, this hay right in here from this from that post right there to the door uh, I got to look at it I'm trying to remember I think it's uh, decent hay certainly from uh, that post kind of in that gap right there going back all of that's first cutting but kind of where you can see the end of it is where it drops off and this is the back side of the uh, second cutting I was pointing out just a minute ago and uh, <clears throat> it's probably horse quality hay but uh, it does have a little foxtail in it and so I don't want to I don't want to uh, pitch that as a higher priced uh, horse quality hay. Here's kind of a look-see from the side door and I need to pick up my gloves. We had a hay customer in here this morning and uh, so my John Deere's over there and you, I just got a little stack of hay right here but uh, this is the back side of this second cutting I was talking about. You see it just it's not that much uh, but it does have some foxtail in it. Not It's not like polluted with foxtail and then I got a, a little bit of hay right here that's first cutting it's uh, it, it had some rain on it it's it's not there's nothing wrong with that hay other than it's a little uh, it's a little browner than uh, what some customers like uh, but you know from from here over and uh, the guy that came today uh, he's going to come back uh, next week, and I think he's going to finish taking that pile or uh, just about all of it. All right, so I've climbed up on top of this little haystack here. And uh, so this hay kind of goes. Uh, I probably got a couple hundred bales right in here. Maybe I might have 300, but it's horse quality down to that uh, pole for sure and has been forage tested so you know this will go out and I've already got uh, I've got uh, 75 bales of this hay already sold and I got a customer from out of state that wants uh, at least 60 more uh, and they have a insulin resistant horse so they're very uh, keen on our hay and buy from us and have for several years now a little Another look at the John Deere 5055D and the 348 uh, kind of packed in here. And then there's that little patch of hay right there. 
and I got another little stack over there. So we're selling hay. I mean, we still got a lot in here, but uh, with the cold weather, you know, it's starting to move a little better than it has. But uh, I mean, we had this uh, whole side. Uh, let's see, we had the whole side down here filled all the way up as high as I'm standing right now and uh, all the way down here and filled out in the center and we had it uh, across that doorway um, and then it was as high as it is as like this and then we sold out uh, the hay down the center and then uh, and then filled it back out with second cutting so uh, we've we've uh, kind of filled this barn up to some extent with first cutting sold it down and then kind of refilled it uh, to some extent with second cutting. And then down here next to the John Deere, I've got some second cutting. It, there's just a little bit of it right in there. I've kind of segregated out, and it was I bailed out along a fence row, and uh, it's got some leaves in it. I'd say it might be some bedding hay. It might be hay I use uh, next year, a couple of bales to run through the John Deere to make sure it's tying uh you know as we get ready for hay hay and uh i say next year 2021 uh that's this year so uh we've had a good year uh, there's a glut of hay in our area i mean there is an absolute glut of hay round bales and square bales uh people are selling and some people are selling uh some pretty low prices because uh I think it's reflected in the glut of hay, but also, you know, they, they're they're trying to get, not to get stuck with a barn full of hay uh, going into next year. So they're cutting their prices. We haven't cut our prices, and we're not going to. I mean, obviously, uh, if it's a cow and goat hay, it's not going to sell for as much as uh, this horse quality hay right here. And without a doubt, uh, just the quality of our hay, the fact that it's uh, essentially weed-free, and our with and you know one of the big things is our forage test results has brought us customers that would otherwise probably shop around and um it's it's funny because uh, you know when you it's one thing to feed your own cattle but when you start selling uh off off the farm hay off the farm uh in in many ways the biggest challenge is just finding the customer base and so for years and years, we've had customers that, you know, they're one and done. They come and they buy hay from us and then they buy from somebody else next year. And it's and and why they don't come back, you know, I don't think it's because they're unhappy with their hay. I think uh, they might not like the price. They might not like the distance it takes to get here. Uh, sometimes we're just sold out. Uh, last year, uh, at this on this day in January, we were sold out. And... Uh, I think some people, uh, you know, they wait till the last minute and then they give us a call and we don't have hay. And that's why they don't come the, the next year. And uh, But this year has been different. We've had uh, uh, repeat customers that have been coming back for several years, a uh, number of years. And uh, actually at the end of December, uh, I called uh, several reliable hay customers that I knew were feeding and uh, I said, you know, we want to put as much revenue on the books before the end of the year for, our, you know, for our tax purposes. And um, so, you know, if you need 50 bales or 100 bales, uh, let me know. And uh, and uh, we had a few that uh, they said, OK, yeah, we want hay. And they came and got and they got hay. And then uh, so uh, it's been pretty good this year. Uh, I don't, uh, having a nice barn, uh, really makes holding hay, uh, it, it just makes holding hay so much more, uh, uh, less stressful, I guess is what I'm saying. Our old barn or old dome shelters that had tarps, you know, those things would sometimes, it wasn't a matter if, but when, uh, they would blow off. And, uh, I just, uh, look at this barn as like a bank vault. And each one of these bales of hay, you know, is so many dollars in the bank waiting to be sold. I'll try to get off this haystack without breaking my neck, leg, or other body part. 
and there's a view from where I just climbed down from. So it's cold today, especially in the shade and uh, up in the barn there it's really cold, but uh, it's also warm. We've not had a harsh winter. We had a little bit of snow on Christmas Day, but uh, in a lot of ways it's been a very mild winter. And I, I don't know that we've seen single digits yet. At least we've been probably been close. But uh, the upshot of that is it's starting to get a little bit muddy in here. And I know I had one guy with a ton truck. Uh, he was out there and he was kind of doing like this, trying to get up to the barn. I thought uh, I'm going to have to pull him out of here with the tractor. But uh, luckily his ton, ton truck had uh, front wheel drive assist or four-wheel drive what he wouldn't call it and uh so he was able to get in and out of here but uh and when he's he wasn't sinking it was just like there was that much on top that was kind of muddy and uh he didn't have the right tires i don't think uh and uh, you know no fault of the customer you know at some point you know we need to put a gravel driveway in here and probably what we're going to do it's from that gate is going to come down along those trees and have the customers come down like that and then come straight across and then we don't have a, a road going diagonally through the middle of our what's going to be a hay field here so gonna be a nice day today uh that's kind of the hay update and uh warms up a little bit more i'll get back to my cub cadet project i had another video on that so appreciate you watching and we'll talk to you later